Well, that's about us ready to set off on our first ocean voyage. Yes, I'm going to leave Inverness, Firth, the inner Firth of Inverness, and head out into the open sea, all the way to uh, to Nairn. Yes, which isn't which isn't very far, particularly. But uh, I suppose it's a bit bit like travelling from your front garden to your back garden. But uh, yes basically um problem is uh there's a big winds last night a storm out in the north sea and there is probably quite a bit of swell left over and there might be too much swell to get out of the north channel because the tides will be against me but i can only enter then on a high tide, so it needs to be that way. But the problem is that Nen Harbour is a really small, narrow channel to get into. And if the swell is coming from the northeast, which it should be, and it breaks over the channel entrance, you can't get in. So the harbour master is going to contact me at some point this morning uh, to see if it's possible to enter. But I'll just head up in any case because I've got a kind of point of no return. Uh, so if you contact me before then, it says I can't, it'd be a day sail. It says if it's lovely and fine, the sea is settled, then I'll go to Nen. I mean, it's not very far, I know, but, you know, one small step for you, but one massive step for me, is that right? Something like that. Anyway, the boat's ready to go. Uh, mask covers off. Oh, unplug the electrics, haven't done that yet. Okay, I better get cracking on that. Uh, what else needs to do? Forgot my coffee. That's really bad, I left it in the kitchen. Um, right, so that, that, that. Okay, yes. Well, very changeable wind. Now it's sort of down to about 12. But it looks like it's gonna keep going up and down all day. Um, so I still know where I'm going. Um, we'll, we'll see when we get up there, see what the sea's like. Uh, yeah, this is great. Whew. I always do lots of faffing when I first get the sails out. While to get into my rhythm, and uh, got quite a low tide today. Springs, or just after springs, so quite high tide, quite a low tide. So, I just gotta watch out for depth. There's loads of sandbanks around here, um, so just gotta keep, keep an eye out. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Contact the harbour master shortly, still quite early. Cool completely surrounded by fog now. <clears throat> not too bad down there. Inverness Bridge is gone. I'm not that far away from it. Can't even see Monlocky Bay or anything. Uh, but I think it's a very small patch. I think it's actually sunny and Rosemarkey the other side, but there is a ship waiting to come in. I saw it earlier. So what do I do? Stay out of the way. I've got my fog horn there. Uh, and I think I'll stick the engine on just in case I have to make a sudden maneuver. But absolutely, if the shit comes out of there, I've got very little time to go out of the way. Yeah. But it is sunny the other side. I've seen a photograph. Thank you, Jennifer. There we go. Still not heard from the harbour master. Okay, that's all right. Still got time. So at least I've got some visibility, but I've got the tide slightly wrong by half an hour so um, I'm a little bit behind schedule 
So, because I'm going against the tide, I'm tacking against the wind. It's just taking too long, so I've stuck on the engine just to get some time up. Um, I'll probably need to get through the, the tidal race on up to the January point in any case, so it's not really nice having the engine on, but I won't get to an end at high tide if I don't get a shift on. But at least the Haas cleared for now. There's still some of it around, but we'll see. lunchtime I have to stop panicking so basically uh, I went down below and made a sandwich thinking right better be quick better be quick better be quick I was gonna crash into one of these big boats oh keep my uh, bloody putting my banging my head on the boom so yeah we've got lots of big boats out there all kind of anchoring either wings coming to Inverness but I think basically to go into Invergordon the lovely harbour master at Nen has said it's all nice and calm and good to enter um, but because I got the tides wrong like by half an hour I put the motor on because well one there's virtually no wind and what wind there is I'm straight into it and I'm against the tides I just don't want to miss that window I'll probably end up having been too early but uh, I can only enter at high tide so if I am early I will faff around, I think. So I've still got the motor on, um, but there's no, no choice, I don't think. I'm going the long way around. So what we have here, we have a channel. So we've got the starboard marker there, a port marker, the red one, the red is port. Um, and we've got two others going up there. So I've got to keep just to the left of those. Because over there is a sandbank, uh, which basically dries out at low tide, so you don't want to hit that. And here, whoop, I've got lots of rocks. So I just got to keep up in the middle. So basically, I mean, I could tack. It would take me forever because there's no wind. It would be very, very short tacks. And I don't want to miss my window getting into Nairn. So that's why I've got the uh, iron sail on. Yep. So that's Rose Markey over there. Shannon Reed Point is over there. Basically, it's taking me two hours just to get like a few miles uh, tacking. So I thought, right, I've got the tide wrong. It's actually a half an hour earlier, so I thought I'd better get a shift on. Um, and the swell isn't too bad. It's a little bit of up and down, but it is the sea apparently. Um, so it looks like, it looks like I am absolutely going to escape the Inverness Firth. Imagine that. There we go. Just a, a few big boats out there to avoid. Should be okay. Um, and I actually made myself some lunch, which is nice. <clears throat> oh look, a seal, poking its head out of the water. Hello seal. Hello, hello boat. <clears throat> also saying hello to these big boats. In Anchorage. Uh, destination, I guess that's Nairn over there. I haven't got a clue really, but it looks like it probably is. 
So the seas are pretty calm. A little bit early, so I've just got the main, uh, got the foresail up a wee bit. Just doing like a couple of knots, which is fine. Someone's covered it in cloud and rain. It's disappeared. Yeah. It's not great. Hopefully they'll uh, see it again. Lovely weather coming. Okay. Let's have a look at the boats again. Hello, big boat. It's quite a big one as well, actually. Suitors of Cromarty. Oh, look, the sunshine. Lovely. Oh, just had a little bit of rain there. And then it's still to appear before my eyes. Uh, I'm kind of hanging loose. I've got about an hour and a half until, no, an hour and 25 minutes. 20 minutes until high tide, so I can't really hang around too long. I'm gonna follow a track in there on my phone. That gives me north, northeast into the harbour, and I hope, I hope that's correct, because there's lots of sandbanks there. Places you can run aground. So we had, had to get the timing kind of kind of right. So I'm just kind of hanging around. Uh, I guess what will be will be on that one. The wind's picking up a little bit, the swell's picking up. Not good. Okay. Right. Onwards. There's a nice little rainstorm back there. Okay, so here's Nen. It's peered before us. Unlifted its veil. Uh, and I think I'm heading towards the harbour. Where's it gone? Yeah, I was heading towards the harbour. I think it's there with the lighthouse. Maybe you can just see it. Uh, kind of on track. We'll see when we get a bit closer. Hopefully this is high tide and hopefully I won't run aground. There's the entrance. It's quite narrow. Let's hope there's enough depth. I'm just kind of going slowly in just to let the tide uh, fill up a bit more. Just in the last sort of 40 minutes of tide, I hope.
So that's me. That's me in. Whew, I'm on the hammerhead on the pontoon, which is which is great. Um, so uh, yeah, trouble free. Okay, a little few scares with rain and that sort of thing, uh, and not being able to see anything, um, ringed in the wrong direction, tides, that sort of thing. <clears throat> but it was great. Oh my god, I actually got here. It's incredible. My first ever ocean voyage. Absolutely fantastic. Good feeling. Might go to the pub tonight. One, because I think I deserve it, and two, I can actually go to a pub. I can just walk from the marina to a pub. That's just like really special. So that's what I might be doing. Um, great, well, I've got, I'm here for 24 hours because I, the next high tide is about this time tomorrow, unless I leave at like three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I don't think so. That's one step at a time. Um, so yeah, finally made it to this uh, promised land of Nen. Fantastic. There we go. How long's it taken me? It's two o'clock now. Uh, do you know? I'm gonna leave half seven. Oh, however long that is, six and a half hours. Okay, that's not too bad. And six and a half back tomorrow, I guess. Whoo wee! Feast fit for a king, I'd say. Um, corned beef hash, kinda. Uh, didn't have a potato peeler, but that's okay. Uh, all good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice sunset. Hmm. Time for dinner. So, breakfast. The good thing about cooking on board is you realise what you need and what you don't need. You need salt and pepper, um, potato peeler, and also need, I think, a comb or a hat. Um, definitely a hat. Bobble hat, baseball cap, doesn't really matter. But another my fine morning to have breakfast of coffee and uh, might just have another look at that tight low tide as well just to see what uh, it looks like there we go That's where I'm heading out, whether in between those boats. This is how shallow it gets. <coughs> the low tide. I think that's pretty much where I went over. Didn't realise you have to go up on the left. So that's where I come back down and keep to that left bank. getting ready to go back just waiting for high tide uh, probably see it just there see the stream coming in Got quite a bit of a way to go yet but, um, yeah <coughs> so I've been for a long walk which is great watch the outside of the boat with this fantastic mop from Tesco's And uh, yeah, just doing a few little jobs on the boat, um, doing some reading. Um, that's been a great, great marina. Some really friendly people, really friendly harbour master, uh, really helpful. Um, 
and people sort of working on their boats have been really nice. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a nice marina. The only problem is, is you can only really get in and out once a day. Um, that's the only problem. So you're kind of waiting around for high tide and that sort of thing. So an easy sail back, I hope. Um, the wind's beginning to freshen a little bit, so I guess we'll full sails out and see how much sailing we can do. I'm gonna get there home as fast as possible, um, just to minimize the amount of, um, amount of what? Darkness, yes. So, uh, yeah. Oh, there's EasyJet. So that boat's got the miss middle bit missing. What on earth do they do with that, I wonder? That black one's really big, and that red one's really big. Weather didn't take long to change. Uh, so that's Inverness over there. And that's where I came from, which is sunny ish. Shall we point? That's uh, trees. So the cells are up. Kind of taking my time. Don't want to go back in the dark, but I probably have to. Um, but the tides going through under the bridge, that bridge over there. Uh, they get pretty, pretty hairy. Um, certainly the first few hours after tide. So um, I think yeah, I replay tacking and that sort of thing, getting wet, which is fun. Um, yeah. So that, that's what I'm doing. I might put the kettle on, actually. That's a good idea. Home. Oh, it's getting quite a wet passage. 
message this one. There we go. Slow motor in just to get you know, some of that tied out of the way so it's not so uh, hectic going under the bridge. I'll try and film that if I can. Okay, we're going under the bridge all over the place. Probably third of the speed that we should be going at. Hopefully we can just punch through. Oh my god. Oh, the steerage is really different. It's really strong tide. Just trying to keep away from that bad boy there. Oh my god. Might have to turn around. Where's the river gone? Oh, I think it's over there. 